Hello friends, welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Not a very nice view. There you go. <laughs> We're in the middle again. Last episode, if you missed it, was super fun. I messed around with the stealth mechanics and we were basically Thief Henry. And we went around and uh, robbed from the rich and gave to the poor, which is actually what the quest is called that we were on, I believe. Um, rob the rich, give to the poor. <laughs> We stole 50 uh, groschen from a guard and gave it to a vagabond guy. And so he's he has another quest for us to do that again. But, um, and I do want to do it. But I think right now we are Jesus. actually... Look where you're going! Shut up. We're actually going to try something before we leave. I was thinking, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. What is that? Oh my god, she's right there. She's outside of town. She's outside of town. No, you know what? I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm going to stick to my plan and we're going to leave. We're going to come back to Rate in maybe like a week or so. Maybe two weeks. I'm not really sure. <laughs> you know, a, a number of days. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to tell what our reputation is. Um, well, we're away, but... Ooh, sc Scarlet's... Scal how is... How is... How are, is someone looking for me in Scarlet's? How? Alright, it's fine. Um, but anyway, my plan is to kind of leave my stuff here, and we'll definitely be back soon, but I am going to take... Oh, do I want to take my stolen goods? The thing is, if I don't take them, they're not going to be any good anywhere else. But I could always come back and get them. What I'm worried about is having too much to carry. And I may want to steal a horse. Um, I could possibly steal a horse from here. And maybe I'll try and do that, actually. I don't know. <laughs> it does look like it'd be quite hard to get up there from that angle. Nah, let's just go north uh, on foot. I'm not going to take my stuff. I can always come back and get it. But anyway, the plan is to... The plan is to go north and uh, up to Tomberg and possibly to Scalitz again. And, uh, you know, explore. Because we, we, haven't, we haven't explored any of that. Let's talk to Therese before we leave. Can I sit down and talk to her? That would be kind of cool if I could. Uh, eye for inventory or get up? Why would I want to? Okay. Um, hi, Teresa. Can I? Can we talk? Have sitting you down. Hello. Oh. Yes, it was very good. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes. Okay. I had a load of save, so I, we hadn't had that conversation yet. Um, oops. <laughs> Teresa, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna leave. Um, I, 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 I got into some trouble, and uh. Ooh, Bread. I got into some trouble. Um, you know, I was trying to help a poor vagabond. He definitely deserved it, and now I need to leave for a bit just <laughs> until people forget about me. Um, but I should mention everybody, by the way. I, I, I want you guys to know, I'm gonna, well, I already said this, but I want to reiterate the fact that I'm not playing a heroic Henry, and people have been commenting, saying like, oh, you shouldn't have done this, you should have done that. <laughs> Like, why didn't you save Teresa and blah, 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 blah. But, like, I said from the very beginning, I'm playing a rogue-type Henry who, unfortunately, is going to bend the law. Obviously, he's he's not really a murderer, but he's definitely a thief, as you can tell. And I'm doing this because I think it's going to be fun, and it'll allow me to explore a fish trap. Um, it'll allow me to... Oh, cool. It'll allow me to explore more of the game mechanics this way um, and show them off to you guys. Ooh. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Cool. And, but also, I just want to play that way. And so I'm going to be doing things like breaking the law and not saving maidens and kind of taking the coward's way out, fleeing a lot from combat, and kind of just like, I'm going to rogue it up, man. And I've been playing that way, and uh, thank you to those who've been understanding, but... Um, don't expect me to do anything heroic, man. I'm not going to be Hero Henry in this playthrough, so I, I apologize if that's what you wanted to see, but um, I, I'll save Hero Henry for another playthrough. In interesting sight? I mean, I just, I just explored it. It wasn't that interesting. But anyways, right now, we're leaving. Hey, cow. How's it going? 
Thank you, the first cow that I've seen, maybe? I don't know. Another doggo! So many do Hey, doggos. Can I have, can I have some of these flowers? You mind? Um, I will try, however, to not anger Tomberg. Um, I feel like I should be at least a little bit responsible in Tomberg because, oh, hell yes. Because they they took me in, um, you know, I I was a little bit naughty when I was there last time, but I plan on treating Tomberg as kind of my favorite town because I am familiar with it from the beta. And so I really, really like Tomberg. Plus I, I really like Lord Davish and Sir Robert is there. Um, and so I feel like Henry would too. Henry would feel bad. What? What? A Riddler? My good man, how about a little wager? Oh, I don't know. What, what are you wagering? What are you wagering? I'm in for a. How I'm about a small wager, my good man. Mm, you're so fence. shady. A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. Oh God. If you solve it. You get back twice the sum you wager. If you don't, can I wager like I one groschen? Five groschens. Who are you? Good question. Who might you be anyway? Me? No one important. Uh huh. But you can be sure of one thing, lad. I walk the world collecting riddles, stories, and sometimes arms. I live from day to day. Uh, but enough of my babbling. Do you want to engage your? I'm so bad at riddles. But I accept. I can't. I can't that not. Good. I can't not accept. I mean, come on. Now, listen carefully. Okay. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Uh huh. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later, another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, closes the hall window. Now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? Well, if we went out, then there's seven less, but it's a riddle, so there's definitely a trick. It's probably something ridiculous, like when she closed the door, the windows, all of the candles went out. The wind cannot blow out anymore, but the servant can blow them out. Because why wouldn't she blow them out, right? She relights all of them. How many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning? Is it going to be like that? Is it a trick question? Is this a medieval trick question? Do servants always put out the candles at night in medieval times? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is this one of those questions that you're supposed to think is a trick question, but it's actually not a trick question? I don't know. I think she finds all ten to relight. Ten. No, no, my fine fellow. The correct answer is three. While the wind blows out three, seven burn down completely overnight, so the next day only three can be rekindled. Oh, come I'm on! Very few people can figure out my Oh, riddles. come on, man. <laughs> oh, I thank you, and may we meet again sometime. Not if I see you first. All right, you got me that time. You you well, got me you that. Doing? Next time, next time I'll get you. <laughs> I mean, I had the right idea, but that was tricky. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. In the comments below, if you answer correctly, let me know. But don't lie, cause I will know. I see everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. Okay. Am I still going the right way? That's a good question. Yes. Okay. I'm going to basically head straight north and hope that either I run into something interesting, which I will get distracted by, or I will, um, why is this fenced in? Is there like sheep here before or something? Or I will run into a town. Um, what I'd really like to run into, honestly, is some bandits. Uh, you know, just a couple because I... I would like to get some, like, get a bow and arrow. I really would. And, uh, or some kind of, of loot and armor and stuff. I know I've had the chance to get armor and probably missed it, but, um, at least in the beta, exploring was really valuable. 
come to think of it, I have all these treasure maps. Let's look at these again. This one was by... Uh, let's by again. Oh, Newhoff. I don't know where Newhoff is yet, but let's see if any of these sound familiar. Rate. Oh. Southeast. Okay. That's... Okay. Hmm. Windmill. Tree. Is that the home windmill? I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Rate. So there's a few by Rate. It's hard to tell what that is. Hunting Lodge? Quarry? That could be Tolmberg. That could be Tolmberg, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna wait on those. Might be fun to do once I have a horse or something, too. I found a shrine. Can I do anything with this? Read. Thomas Henry Joseph Douglas Ayers from Stefan from Loya Harry Felicia Veterinator Operable. Duh. Okay. Don't know what that means. Um, something. I'm going to. The Vengeance Quest. Where's this at? Let's find Mark Vart. Is that? I can't see where it is on the map. Maybe I just have to ask around. Probably we'll need to ask around up here. So that's probably something we can do when we go there. Um, let's not do that one right now. Um, possibly this. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, we're not going to do this right now. Not gonna do that right now. Do me a favor, punch me? Oh right, that's something I need to do in Rate. <laughs> I really like Rate. I think that's gonna be like a really cool city for me to keep going back to and um, I love the quests that we got from that vagrant guy. Basically, thieving quests. How cool is that? Um, so it's gonna be a good opportunity for me to level up my pickpocketing and stuff. But I also plan on doing that on my own um, whenever I get the chance, so. Pretty, pretty fun. Also, I would like to find a bed at some point sooner than later because um, I, need an, I need an opportunity to save. So I should really be looking for one whenever possible, like maybe here. I discovered a nest. Let's wash myself. Why not? Okay, um, I don't know what nest is. It looks like, is anyone here? Yes, okay, so I can't rest in there. Hello? Anyone? Hello? You know what else would be good to fight bandits uh, for is they probably have lockpicks, honestly, if I had to guess. They probably do. I don't know who lives here, but whoever it is is not... Oh! Hello, friend! There's Are... nothing to it. What? Beggar. I can't talk to you? There's nothing to it. Are you... Why do you look... Consolation cross? I've got this plan. You've got this plan? What's your plan? I would like to know what your plan is. What's it about? An offer you can't refuse. Really? The finest goods at an incredible price. Oh, what are they? All right. Show me this what you're This might be the exact kind of dude that wish. I'm looking for. Save your schnapps. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Wait, 11? Wait, what? Is that all he has? How many of these do you... Dude. Really? I mean, I feel like this is too good to be true. What do you want for this? How about, um... That's not worth anything. <laughs> it's 
it's, it's really broken though. It's just not worth anything. I haven't got much to trade. How about these seven radishes that I stole? <laughs> you don't want that trout either, huh? Spirits? What do the spirits do? I kind of want to keep the spirits. I want to level up drinking. I think that sounds really fun. It also sounds like something that my Henry would do. So um, I could sell some of these flowers. I'll just buy this, man. I feel like this is a good deal. I think, I'm pretty sure it is. It's compared to the people that were selling this crap in town. It seems amazing. I don't care if it's stolen. Have my radishes. I, don't, I won't even haggle. I'll just, I'll just take it. I pay 10. For a savior schnapps? Hell yes. Thanks, bro. You're the best. Um, right. Do I want to save now? I don't think so. Not yet. If I find anything cool, I will. There's another building there. This game is so gorgeous. It just, also, I gotta say, it feels really realistic. What was that? Are those butterflies? They were right in my face. It feels really re realistic running around um, and not running into like a boar or a wolf every two seconds. You know, like usually in RPGs, <laughs> you just find random wild animals that murder you. But this looks so real. And the fact that that doesn't exist, um, I mean, they do exist. There are There is wildlife in the game, but they're, you know within reason, like they're in the forests and stuff. They're not actually just every 10 feet you find a, a wolf or something or a giant spider. <laughs> Which I really, really love. Ooh, a little path, where does this go? Like I said from the beginning when I was playing the beta, I said I was gonna spend hours just exploring beehive. So I'm just gonna spend hours just exploring. This is dangerous. Did I do it? Oh god. I also accidentally um, fed Henry too much, so he's a little bit <laughs> he's a little bit stuffed right now. But uh, you know, better to be stuffed than starving. But uh, that should wear off in a bit. It's just reducing my stamina a little bit. It's fine. Okay, there's a town there. Do I know what that is? No. I do not. Let's head for there. Let's see what we can find along the way. I would love to go exploring also in the woods. Um, I wonder if this is the town that I think it is. I hope it is, but I don't know. Nope. Ladechko. It's not the town that I was thinking of, but that's good. Let's see what they've got in Ladechko. Have they got any shady individuals that I could do dealings with? Hello there, friends. Can I ask you about your fine town? Hello, ma'am. She doesn't want to talk to me. I, I'm glad I didn't accidentally pickpocket her. <laughs> I should I should be like trying to pickpocket people before I leave places. But I just you know I'm not great at it. That's that needs to be something that I do. Hi. That needs to be something that I do at night. I think these people think that I'm trespassing. I'm not surprised that they think that either because I kind of am. But they were walking around. Like that lady was walking and I could pickpocket her. So why wasn't I able to, un to pickpocket the guard that was walking around? I'm very confused about that. It's fine though. I can live with it. Man, I can imagine sprinting on a full stomach is no easy task. Hello, ma'am. Can I talk to you? No, I can only pickpocket you. I found a grindstone. Apparently, I can sharpen my blade. I haven't tried doing that yet. Ooh, the, this is the blacksmith. All right. Hello there. Hello, sir. God be with you. God be with you. Um, do you need any help? Is something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, Ooh, Michael, quest. but I've heard talk about the Sasso blacksmith and I'm losing sleep over Sasso. it. talk might not be. They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Magic. Wow. 
How can I help? And uh, how could I help with that? Simply not. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. Okay. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not that daft. Good. Am Good. I? And don't worry, you won't be the poorer for it. Once you find out what's what, I'll find a way to recompense you. Can you make me a sweet short sword? I'll do it. All right. I'll I should be able to make my own short stories. sword because I am Good. a blacksmith. But be subtle about it. But oh well. Don't go embarrassing yourself. Or me. I'll try not to. Tricks of the trade. Let's talk trade. What have you got? Um, do you... Game saved? Why? I mean, okay, uh, why though? <laughs> Common shield might be good. Um, dagger, that's what I want. Robber's sword? Oh, wait, that's super good stabbing. I wouldn't mind... I really wouldn't mind having that, you know? Horseshoes. What do the horseshoes do? Just give defense and stuff. Or durability. Hmm. Accelerate the horse's trot and canter. That's cool! I love how the horses have stats, too. That's so neat. Alright, this guy's got nothing besides... I do kind of want this robber's sword. Honestly. I wonder if I could get him to give me that. Um, I've got 58 gold, so I could possibly get him down to that much. You know what I actually should do is... You know what? I think I'm going to hold off. I will sell you those, though. Let's try haggling for this. Let's talk about the price. Yeah, let's talk Why about not? the price. <sighs> Find out the truth about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you give me 30? What do you say to this? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Finally. Speech. A reasonable sum. Alright, I could pickpocket him. I don't know though, I'm worried. <laughs> Let's see, I got the thing in speech. Let's see here. Your speech stat will rise by three when you talk to commoners. You can't have perk highborn at the same time. Increase your speech skill when talking to nobles and wealthy people. Ooh. When a trader loses patience with you haggling, you get one more chance. Ooh, do I want to go against nobles or commoners that's a toughie that is a toughie um do like do bandits and stuff count as commoners i feel like highborn might be a bit more useful or i could save my oh i want this i'm gonna actually save for this level eight i'm gonna save this because i don't think i need to use my point and I'd really like to um, get that empathetic uh, trait. Overeating, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. Once again, I decided not to uh, buy anything at the shop because everything just takes so much, damn. <laughs> it takes so much money, you know. All right, well, now we know where a blacksmith is. That's good. Buck, buck, chickens. Let's go into town, I suppose. Um, where is Sasau, by the way? Do me a favor, punch me. Tricks of the trade. Okay, Sasau is that way. So I guess that's where we can explore next. Once we check out what this place has. This place is really nice, actually. I like it. All the water. But yeah, we'll go to Sasau. Um, that could be that could be pretty a pretty good. Uh, trade for us. All we have to do is walk around like we were planning to do anyways. Archery range, huh? I wish there was someone around to give me a bow. That's another thing I really want to find um, when we're killing bandits and stuff. Okay, there's a quest here. Lodgings. 
I'll just take the cool approach to the lodgings. So this guy's got a quest. Hello, innkeeper man. Jesus Christ be praised. Yes, yes, yes. What's happening around here? What's happening around here? Ah, you know how it is. Always something. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. Kunhuta? The local herb woman. She always comes here once Ooh. a week for a tankard of ale. But she ain't turned up recently. I hope nothing's happened to her. And there's more. Uh-huh. Like that's they can start an archery contest here. If you want to try your luck at winning a few Groshen, you should go and see him. I would and actually like to way, do that. Yes. Especially at the mill. Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. Really? Mischief? Hmm. Anything else? What's happening around here? Nothing much, thank God. Peace and quiet is a blessing in this day and age. Okay, so there's some shady people by the mill. Um, what do you have for sale? Bacon? Ooh, and fresh bread. Oh man, that sounds so delicious. Uh, oh, he's got all kinds of good stuff. He has savior schnapps for 96. Oh boy. He, might, he pays a bit for food and stuff though. I think I'll sell him my fish. Do, 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 do. And my dried meat. Give me a few groschen. Why not? Let's just close the deal. Thank you. I really should be, um, haggling every time, but I, you know, it's just a few grush, groschen. Groschen. I like to sound fancy when I say that, even though I'm probably mispronouncing it like hell. Okay, so the mill, there's some shady people. That's what interests me the most. Shady people is where you get lockpicks and where the fun is. Hello, doggo. Grocer. Nice sign. Mill is outside of town usually, though. These plants could just we could just make our way west to Sasau. Are those boars? Goodness. They are boars. Huh. No, they're pigs. Not boars. They're just really hairy. Hairy pigs. Well, they could be boars out for all I know. I don't know. I thought boars had like you know, more menacing tusks and stuff. But I'm probably definitely wrong about that, because what do I know? Is this a place to dig? No. Alright. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, wandering around aimlessly in the forests. That was one of my all-time favorite things to do in the beta of Kingdom Come Deliverments. Deliverments? <laughs> was to run around in the forest and enjoy the beauty. And, uh... There is wildlife and stuff in the forest now, and this guy might be someone who's gonna murder me. Do I wanna use Savior Schnapps? I did get a Savior Schnapps for pretty cheap, so what is up on that hill? There's a path going up there. Oh, this guy's probably just walking between here and Sasau, but you never know. By the way, I'm not picking up all the quests on purpose. Oh, that looks ominous. Yeah, let's use the Savior Schnapps. Why not? Did I get something for that? I, oh, I reached a new level in drinking! Yay! Skills. Drinking. Oh. What do I need level 4 for this. The beer you get is 50% weaker, so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong. It'll make you drunk faster. A beer is a real man's drink, not wine. Right, bro? Are you evil? Can I pickpocket you? It's a wayfarer. Oh, sorry. I apologize. What the? You thieving mag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Dude, are you gonna go tell on me? Okay, hopefully he's just running away, cause. <laughs> wow, I failed at that, didn't I? 
Probably should have been sneaking. Oh well. Alright, bandits. That is a warning sign. I know that very well. There's bandits around. That guy might have been one anyways. But, you know. It's fine. Just up on that, that hill looks very suspicious. But also this forest is just so enticing. Do you think he's going to... I wonder... I'm, I'm worried where that guy went, honestly. He, he ran away in fear. Sasau Woods. Hopefully he doesn't go tell the... Okay, that's probably a guard. Because this is, this is the Sasau Woods. Then probably they have guards about, right? So let's just try not to get in trouble. If we can help it. For now, anyways, until we till we talk to the blacksmith. Hey, bunny wabbit! Found a path. I feel like I'm pretty stealthy right now. Another little path. Where does this go? Maybe this is a hunting path. Who knows? Where are we right now on the map? Okay. Quest giver right there. There's a lot of points to travel around, Rate. Lovely forest music. This doesn't seem to be leading anywhere. Did it, did it end? I think I'm just on the path to Rata or to uh, Sasao now, but let's go up this way. Southwest? I'm surprised I haven't come across anyone yet. Sleep. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. Um, I'm a little worried that someone is going to come back, though. But sure. Why don't we have an... What's that? Let's see if this will save my game. Because before I rested an hour at the mill, it did not. 60% comfort, huh? At least I'll sleep off my... My feast that I had. <laughs> okay, it did save. Good. So I didn't need I didn't need to use the schnapps, but hey, it's fine. We'll get plenty of schnapps. What was that a dog or something? What was that? I saw an animal. Maybe it was just a sheep, but what was the sheep doing all the way up here? Maybe it was just that bunny and he looked bigger than he was. I don't know. Hard to say. But anyways, let's go towards the town. I was hoping that that little path would lead me to some bandits, is what I was hoping. But that didn't happen. Ooh. Nice. A river and some willow trees. I wonder if Henry can swim. That's a good question. Ugh. Shame I can't swim. Aw, oh, damn it. Is there a swimming skill, or is that just a restriction in the game? Yeah, just a restriction. Okay, fine. I mean, you could learn, Henry. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, who lives here? An interesting site. Is it interesting? Oh god, it's kind of glitchy, but I don't know if it's interesting. You sure it's interesting? Why is it interesting? I can sit on it. I can sleep on it. It's actually once once you know that you need to um like find sleeping places to save your game, it's actually not that bad. Um, you know. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh Jesus, what happened? Can I climb up please? 
Okay, that was weird. Everything's fine. But yeah, it's not as intimidating, the save system, once once you realize you can just sleep and save, you know? There's quite a few sleeping locales in the game. Especially in the wilderness, it seems. Ah! I keep, I keep failing at climbing this mountain. And by mountain, I mean small hill. Come on, Henry, you got this. Tis just a small hill. Is there some way to cross, though? I'm sure there is. We're, we're building up our stamina. Don't worry, Henry. Please don't fall. I'm counting on you to not fall. It's quite a workout, I know. I know. Okay, I might be able to cross there. That looks pretty shallow. But this looks interesting. Oh! Uh, is that blood? Oh dear, what is going on? Okay, hopefully this is a hunter's cave, or else I've stumbled upon something quite grisly. It very- yeah, this is an interesting sight, I would say. Okay, I think it's just a hunter's area, because there's, there's skins there, and it's probably just- I would say that's what it is. So nothing to be alarmed about, just another place to sleep. An interesting sight. I wonder if that's what the interesting sights are, just places to sleep. Nobody here though. Nobody here to say hello to. I wouldn't mind going to there. I wonder if the person that lives there comes to all these sights. These interesting, very interesting sights. If I'm going to be doing this, I should probably get that falling damage perk. But it's fine. Alright. There's a quest giver around. Is it the bunny? Is it you, bunny? No, it is not. So lovely. So lovely. Excuse me, sir. Hello, Miller. God be with you. Yes, you have a quest for me. Do you have any work? Is there any work you can do? Hmm, that depends. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've got a bit of a problem. What's I'm that? Yeah, we've got a human captive we Ooh. pulled out of the river. I've an idea what to do with him, but I need a little help. Okay. Now, I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. Okay, double dialogue again. Um, the Cuban belongs in the Rate Gallows. No, hope you. What do you have in mind? But yeah, how did you do it? How did you do it? It's not every day a Miller's helper catches an enemy of the Crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. I'll help you. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the Cubans. I'm guessing you're from Skelets, then? Yes. I am. Very well, then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taking. Uh, I'll get the information. Uh, gonna keep that for yourself? I'm guessing you want to return all that loot to its original owners. Very funny. So, are you going to help me or not? Yeah, I'll help you. All right. I'll get it out of him. Do you speak Hungarian? Uh, no. no. I don't. <laughs> then you won't get anything out of him. But if you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. <sighs> All right. All right. I can handle it. Not exactly Thanks. what I wanted to do right now, but... Lost in translation. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose Henry would probably want to do that. Seems like something. Ooh. Sorry. 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 I, I know I was in a. I know I was in a private area. It's fine. 
nettle. So down the river a bit, huh? That's more than a bit, honestly. Uh, we need to go... We're, we need to go do this. I'm more interested in doing the, the um, quest for the blacksmith in case he gives me either, like, teaches me how to do stuff or gives me a sword. Um, that would be pretty valuable to me. So I'm going to actually, should I cut through the woods or take the road? I don't know. I mean, if this guy captured a cumin, though, that means there could be cumins in the area. And that's spooky. That's... That's pretty spooky. I'm not really super well armed to take on humans right now. Because um, they are uh, usually armored and stuff. But if I could just get one guy by himself, I might be able to have some fun. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna cut across. Henry should have damn good stamina because he sprints like everywhere. Sussel! Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh! Okay. Big oh, this is the cathedral town? It looks like a cathedral. It's lovely. I would love to go there. There's a lot of um, quests available, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to like just pick them all up, you know? I don't like doing that. I don't like picking up every quest right off the bat. I like to spread them out a bit. Hi, let's see what you have. You have apparently have Good a health quest, to you. And you're a swordsmith. Hmm. Suck trade. Let's see, you've... Ooh, and, uh, ooh. 41 stabbing. Huh? Hail of Space. Burger Sword. That's very expensive. Very expensive. I could buy a dagger. Trusty companion. God, man. Good God, he's got a lot of stuff. All right, well, I think we should note. Oh, I think we should note all the crap this guy has, and I might come back and, uh... Actually, what's your quest? Maybe you've got a cool quest I can do, too. Um, let's talk train. Do you need help with anything? Any chance of some work? Well, come to think. There is one rather delicate matter to attend to. Delicate, I like it. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that Ooh. once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. Wow. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares. Splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown. Nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? Sounds awesome. If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. The thing with the pilgrim seems fishy. Um, would you sell me the sword afterwards? Yeah. I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. 
Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratite couldn't manage it. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from me. They say the largest piece is with the Ratite swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I like it. I'll do it. What power did he have? Did, what kind did of power have? did this sword have? <laughs> what do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Wow. That sounds good. I'm in. Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. About that sword? About that sword. Okay, yeah. But repairs. Still don't have anything Hmm. That's interesting that it's saving my game in that screen. Is it just like during various quest things? Yeah. It must be dur um when you like pick up some certain quests too, I suppose. I like it. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> some horses I can potentially steal here, I think. Yeah. But I won't. All right, so the guy we need to talk to is up here. Not the swordsmith. There's apparently a blacksmith as well. I would love to check out the monastery or cathedral. Hmm. Hello, wifey. Uh... What are those rhymes the blacksmith says to himself? Why is the blacksmith muttering nonsense to himself? Has he been in the sun too long? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Just a silly little rhyme for his work, to time it right. Oh, I see. I thought he was delirious. No, he's like that all the time. Okay, repeat the ditty to the Ledgeco blacksmith. That was it? I find that hard to believe. Really? That's it? Okay. So, from the beginning. The sun sets out across the skies. He loses his way to the forge he flies. Kuttenberg is far, far away. Kuttenberg is far, here I'll stay. My breath is short, my feet are sore. I'd buy a horse, but I am poor. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not wither, darling mine. Now, for the last time. The sun, he hides behind a cloud. His heat goes cold and his fire goes loud. He drowned the fish and broke its neck, threw it down upon the deck. Fry your fish, the fish head's best, fishy thighs and fishy breasts. I think we have to watch the whole thing? Yeah, I definitely listen to it all. The sun sets out. Of... <laughs> Kuttenberg is far, far away. I, he's starting over, so I, I listened to it. I talked to him about it. My breath is. Hello. A good day to you. What do you need? Um. They say you're the best blacksmith around. They so say you can cast spells. I'm looking for pieces of... Uh, yeah. Uh, yes? They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. 
That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here, at the smithy. Uh -huh. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. So that's why I'm curious just how you go about it. Look, I learnt it from my father. May he rest in peace. And I don't mean to share our secret with anyone. Yeah, but can't we bond so over this? it's a family formula. I lost my Actually, father. Actually, yes, it he is. He was a blacksmith. And that's how it's going to stay. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently. And you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water and that was that. What gently humming furnace are you on about? Have you ever actually been near one? You'd end yes. up drenched with sweat the whole time, not just while you were tempering. Don't try and tell me you've ever even been in a smithy. Whatever, I have too. My dad was totally a blacksmith, okay? I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. At least he's patient. Let's stop talking about tempering. I'm looking for pieces of a sword that a pilgrim from the Holy Land was selling. Would you happen to know anything about it? I would. Of course I would. Well? It's a load of tripe. Only a fool would have given that trickster a single groschen, and I'm no fool. How about you? But if he lied about that sort of stuff, it would be a terrible sin. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, lad. That bastard never saw the holy land. Unless it was in a fresco. Hmm. I heard you reciting something just then. What was it? None of your bloody business. And you'd best be off if you're not here to buy. Alright, I'm sorry. Does it want me to, like, hide while I'm listening to him or something? I definitely heard it. I didn't get credit for it, though. Do you know how the blacksmith does his tempering? You'll have to ask him yourself. I help him out here and there, but I could never do his work for him. Well, thank you. Her hair is so awful. My pleasure. She's got such a pretty face, it's unfortunate that, you know, half of her hair is, like, all clipping through her head. Um, alright. So, actually, do you sell lockpicks? Probably not. No. Cheap dagger, though. 94 for that. I suppose you, you want to buy my weapon for any, Wait, where's my weapon? Wait, did I sell my sword? Uh, I, I guess I did? Oops. <laughs> oh well. Actually, let's buy this dagger. Because what if I have to go up against that Cuban guy? I'm actually going to give him a bit extra money, I think. Um, yeah, because this will make him like me more. Let's haggle. Let's talk about the price. How Why about not? I give you a tip of two... I'll pay you 14.5 for it. So you love me. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Yay. Thanks a thousand times. Now, if this dagger breaks, I'm coming for you, man. I like that, though. That's really cool. All right, so now we have a dagger, um, which we can't equip it's because... Why? Why can't we equip it? Do I just use it... Uh, do I just use it, like... Um, in certain circumstances? 
Yeah. I don't actually... Okay, well... Yeesh, I'm unarmed all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't remember where I sold my sword. That was probably I. That was a mistake. <laughs> Good God, it's already been an hour again. Good gosh. Good golly gosh. Hello, chickens. The chickens are always plotting, always watching. Well, what? Shit, Henry. Oh, Henry. Hey. Oh my god. Hey guys. It's my friends. Henry. Fritz, oh, I need lock picks. Did we know each other? No, why would I why would I say that? Matthew. Fritz, you're alive. Of course we're alive. Yay. You can't get rid of us that easily. <laughs> I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely need it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks. Bollocks. Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Helping the Reeve in Rat Eye. Um. Or what's the Reed? Reeve. Sure? Well, right now I'm helping the Reeve in Rat Eye. That doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, and how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle, and there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Never been too fond of work, but people always need carpenters. Does no one in Sasau need good carpenters? No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasau. No one. Huh. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Yeah, I'll find you something. I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. No debt necessary, friends. Game saved. Hell yes. Yeah, who else survived? What other neighbors of ours made it? Your hunk is in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. Your hunk. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? Okay. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. I mean, Teresa is staying at a mill, so that's entirely possible. Hey, watch it. Oh my god. Out. <laughs> okay, it's been an hour. Um, definitely that quest is going to be priority two. Uh, we can we can kind of do both of those around the same time. Well, actually, no, because the other one go is going back to Ratte, and I don't want to go back to Ratte right now. Um, probably when we do this quest, we'll go talk to Teresa about finding our friends. Um, I would, I think I'm going to stick on my original plan, possibly, and keep going north. Uh, but I might go back here first. I don't know how to do this. Like, listen to the blacksmith. Did he? I already did that. Very. He mustn't notice me. But he, he totally did. Okay, so I think that I just have to be sneaking. That's fine. Um, I'll just try that again next time before we leave. But thank you so much for joining me, everybody, for another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I love this game so much. I know I keep saying that every episode, but I just can't stop playing it. It's so 
good. And uh, I really, I'm really enjoying the character choice that I made so far. Um, I can't wait to do more stealthy stuff, and I might even, I might even do some more sneaky missions in Sasau before we leave. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody. I'll see you very, very shortly for another episode. Until then, bye bye.